Question seven says, states, write expressions for the scalar and vector projections of B onto A illustrated with diagrams. The scalar and vector projections of B onto A are shown below, and here's a scalar projection of B onto A. Component of B, yeah, component of B onto A, that's the way you write it. Uh, so B onto A is equal to A dot B divided by the length A. And then the vector project projection of B onto A is, is, is uh, noted as projection of B onto A is equal to the component of B onto A. That's this part right here. And then times by this uh, unit vector or, or whatnot, so whatever <laughs> you like call it. Uh, basically, yeah, unit vector in the direction of A. So A vector divided by the length A. And then equals to A dot B uh, divided by uh, the length A squared times, uh, times by A. A vector like that. And the projections are seen visually below, like here. Yeah, so there's the uh, vector projection. There's a scalar projection. You have B onto A, and you get the cosine of the uh, length B. That's going to be this component uh, B onto A. That's how you would uh, term it, or how you would uh, call it. And there's a vector projection. It's just without the cosine. It's just the direction. Uh, you don't need to know the magnitude. It's just going to be completely on it. So. So yeah, it, well, it does have magnitude and direction, but this is the projection. You have the uh, direction of it, so the vector direction. So this is a, uh, this is the projection of B onto A, and here is projection of B onto A if it's going on the negative side, if you have B pointing to the top left there.